I thought in this video we'd take a look at 10 defensive midfielders who could replace Francis Coquelin in January. Now, it's obviously a massive blow uh, losing Francis Coquelin. He's been brilliant for Arsenal, absolutely brilliant, consistently putting in excellent performances sitting in front of that back four. Without Coquelin, we're again vulnerable to the counter-attack. We're again vulnerable to teams just running through that midfield and posing us problems. So which defensive midfielder could we go out there in January and buy that could strengthen that area and still see us mount a title challenge? Let's take a look at the 10. At number 10, Luis Gustavo. Remember him? We were linked with him a couple of seasons ago when he was at Bayern Munich. Uh, very strongly, as a matter of fact, he, he's, he's a very, very solid defensive midfielder. No nonsense. Uh, does what it says on the tin, basically. He sits in front of that back four, cleans up. But surprisingly, also pretty good on the ball as well. And uh, he's playing at Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg, of course, in the Champions League. But if Arsenal put in a big enough bid, surely they could get him. 28 years of age. Remember him having a bit of a nightmare um, against Germany uh, in the World Cup, where a lot of people said, well, you know what, actually he looked like we dodged a bullet. But if you look at his performances, he's very consistent. Luis Gustavo, one that Arsenal could get. At number nine, James McCarthy. Okay, so we a lot of uh, fans out there going to say, James McCarthy. James McCarthy has been playing really, really well for Everton this season. He's a solid, no-nonsense defensive midfielder and a decent technician as well there in the middle of the park. Used to playing in a similar sort of style to, watch Arsenal, to which Arsenal play as he plays for Everton. Martinez is Everton. And, um, of course, knows the Premier League inside out. Will be able to come in and, amongst better players, be able to shine and protect that back four. So why not take a chance with James McCarthy, Everton? At number eight, Ever Benega. He's 27 years of age, Argentinian. Uh, he's been around for a little bit now, but he's been playing really, really well for Valencia. A couple of seasons ago, he was one of the hottest prospects around, but he's got experience. One of the best defensive midfielders in La Liga. Why not take a chance? Very skillful on the ball as well. Good playmaker as well as defensive midfielder. So Ever Benega would fit perfectly into the Arsenal system. At number seven, Christoph Kramer. German international plays for Bayer Leverkusen, spent two seasons out on loan at Borussia Mönchengladbach and was absolutely brilliant for them. Um, one of the main players that, that helped them to get into the Champions League. Very, very um, highly thought of by Joachim Lowe and the German setup. He's definitely a player on the rise. And with our German contingent at Arsenal, would fit into the place just nicely. Would be quite difficult to prize away for Leverkusen because, as I said, he's been playing very well. But Christoph Kramer would be a good fit for Arsenal. At number six, Cheeky Coyote. Coyote plays for West Ham. He's a, you've seen him play. He's tall, rangy. Got a couple of goals in him. Gets around the park. Pretty dynamic. And has been playing really, really well for West Ham this season as a defensive midfielder. Again, even though he's only about, you know, played about 10 games in the Premier League, he's got Premier League experience. He's come up against some of the, the best midfielders um, so far in the Premier League and has done a very good job. So why not take a chance on this 25-year-old Senegal international? He could do a job at Arsenal. At number five, Lucas Begilia. Begilia is a, a player that a lot of clubs have been looking at, including Manchester United. I don't know how many more defensive midfielders they want at United, but they've been looking at him. Uh, not only is he a very good defensive midfielder, he's also the captain of Lazio. He's a leader on the pitch. Positional sense is very good and a very good free kick taker as well. Would definitely bring a little something to that midfield. Would fit in there perfectly alongside the likes of Corzola, Ozil, etc., Begilia would be a very, very good signing for Arsenal and looks like he's available. At number four, Victor Wanyama, a player that I felt that we could have, you know, got in the summer. Uh, Southampton, they don't want to sell him. They, they want to hold on to him. We know that Spurs were very interested in him because of uh, Pochettino and the um, previous link. But for me, he would be absolutely perfect. Um, could play back up to Coquelin when Coquelin comes back. 
but he's solid. He's got a presence about him. He, he, he's just what you need in front of that back four. Maybe not the best on the ball, but as far as physical presence, breaking it up, being dynamic and getting around that pitch and protecting that back four, I think Victor Wanyama would be perfect for Arsenal and he would love to play for us. At number three, William Cavallio, a player that's been linked with Arsenal for oh, seasons now. He's a quality player, young player. We saw him playing for Portugal in the under-21s and he was absolutely outstanding, one of the players of the tournament. For me, I think he would be a brilliant player to bring in, would offer lots of competition to Coquelin. Perhaps he'd be looking at it and thinking to himself, well, I want to start each and every week, you know, if I'm playing um, in that Arsenal team. But he's a quality player. Only downside, two downsides. He's had recent injuries. And uh, second downside is the fact that he will cost a lot of money. But William Cavallio would definitely be able to come in and do a job. At number two, Gregos Kruciak. Now, Kruciak was linked with Arsenal right throughout the summer. There was many of us that thought that Arsenal were going to go in and buy this guy. Polish international, good player. Got a presence in midfield, six foot one, dynamic, gets right across the field, gets box to box and also has the discipline to protect that back four. A player that I would love to see come in at Arsenal, a player that I think many fans would be more than satisfied with if Arsene Wenger bought him in in January as a replacement for Cochrane, or should I say at least till Cochrane got fit, would offer great competition. Why not go out there, put in a big offer to Sevilla and bring this guy to Arsenal? He would be perfect. At number one, Lars Bender. How long have we been linked with this kid? For me, again, another player that would be brilliant if we brought him in. Defensive midfielder, disciplined. He'd be a German international who'd be playing all the time hadn't it not been for injuries. And again, another player that gets injured. So that's another thing we've got to worry about. But I think Lars Bender would be that type of player that would be very similar to like Matic is at Chelsea. He, he's got that height, that presence, so he can win a lot of balls in the air, protect the back four, but he's also got a lot of skill, can take the ball, go forward, put in a pass. Very good a tackler. I think would be absolutely perfect for Arsenal. So why not Arsene Wenger, after all these years, go out there and get Lars Bender? So there you have it. That's 10 players there, 10 defensive midfielders that we could bring in to replace Coquelin, who unfortunately is injured at the moment. It's an area of the field where we've suffered in in the past until Coquelin came in to solve it. So Arsene Wenger, when January comes, don't hesitate with a checkbook. Go out there and get one of those 10. Do you know any others out there that I haven't mentioned? Well, if you do, leave them in the comments below and let me know who they are but we definitely need a defensive midfielder.